until you came I was breathless when we first met Couldn't keep my hands away Welcome back to my studio. Hope you're ready for some fun. I had so much fun doing my Valentine's piece with some alcohol inks that we're going to play on Yupa paper and alcohol inks again. So let's get down to the paper and let's have some fun. We're going to splash some ink around. Hold on. Okay, today we're going to play in sort of my favorite type of color palette, the blues and purples. So our colors I have in Ranger inks, I've got Indigo and Mermaid. And in my Picasso, I have a variety of them. So I have, let's see, manganese blue. I have orchid. I have violet and turquoise. And I have uh, sapphire and navy blue. And then I also, in my Decoram metallics have silver and gray. And we're just gonna play and see how it turns out. We're gonna be using a batch of 91% isopropyl alcohol. That is what's in my little squirter. And that's gonna help us spread and get a design here. So we're just gonna start rowing some ink down and then playing with it. Let's see what happens. Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted, but feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now. Let's move closer to a new history, find out what we can be together. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. Dancing closely together and staying forever young. What about you and I then? Can we too find a way to align with each other? Let's move closer to a new history. Find out what we can be together. Mm. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. Choose right. 
Whenever you're working with metallic, you gotta make sure you really shake it up good. And, oh, there you go. I'm gonna put too much. A little bit goes a long way with these metallics. I'm spreading that shimmer around. A little silver, a little color. A little alcohol to help with the spread.
is a nice start. Oh, and the shine in the center here where the silver is, is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I don't think I'm going to use the gray, but I'm loving this silver. All right, we're gonna let this sit and dry and then we'll move on. Okay, I have let this dry. I have sprayed it with a thin coat of Kamar varnish so that the alcohol inks are set. I've gotten out my Pebeo gilding kit, though I'm gonna gild with silver and not the gold that came with this kit. And we're going to use one of my stencils. So hold on a second, we'll get everything out. I'll be ready to go. So I've got the liquid and I've got this beautiful stencil that has this hummingbird. And I think what I want to do is I want to put one bird over here and then flip it and do another bird down over here. And what I'm going to do is use this just to help me know where to put the glue as it were, or medium, and uh, we're going to give this a try. So, give me a second, get everything open and ready to go. Now that we've outlined the birds using the stencil, we just wait for the glue to dry. Okay, so the next step is we're going to take our silver foil sheet, which I have here. And I've got a backing to make it easier for me because this is very fragile. And we've got some paint brushes to help us press it on. And we're just going to place the foil over top of the bird and press and use our brush here to help us press get everywhere and press a little directly on and I'm gonna peel that off put the sheets over here as I peel This can be very messy, people. So, oops, there's glue in that support, and I didn't get foil in there. Hold on. Make sure you have foil over all the glue, or else your paper will be sticking instead of your foil. So 
start by getting rid of the larger excess pieces. close by when you're doing this to dump off stuff as you go because otherwise you will have quite the mess. I'm going to shake off some of this. Oh, my trash can real quick. We're slowly going to work this until it's done. You want a fairly stiff brush, but not too hard. You want to get off the unattached foil without ruining the attached foil. Now some sheet foil with a backing is easier than this, like what comes with the kit I'm not using, because then you don't get a lot of excess blow here. Like the loose foil ones. way too long You always thought that you were weak but babe you're wrong Yeah you better step into the light just give it a try think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long Up the rest of that and I'll take you in for a close-up. The varnish is still wet on my beautiful birds. I'll give you sort of the whole thing. I've sealed it with Kamar varnish. That's going to keep my foil from moving. And just seal everything together. I'm going to let that varnish dry and I'll give you the final results. Okay, final results. I have placed this in a beautiful silver frame. It really offsets those beautiful birds. Look at my birds. I love the way the colors came out. From the alcohol inks and the way the gilding came out on my birds. They're so pretty. 
Oh, very happy with this piece. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when I put new videos up. Thank you so much for being here. Your presence is so appreciated. And I hope you had fun watching this. I sure had fun making it. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, everyone.